everyone, it's Joe on the Go, and I'm Joe Miller, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Today is going to be shredded. We're gonna catch up with professional skateboarder Carter Collins. How cool is that? Check out what we're all about today. Carter? What's up, Joe? I'm so stoked to see you. Yo, those tricks were killer. Oh, yeah? You saw that triple set trick with an ollie slide? Um, I think so. <laughs> Whatever it's called, those moves are so crazy. Did it take you forever and a day to learn how to do all of that? I was born to shred, but definitely spent a lot of time learning the tricks of the trade. And I bet everyone thinks you are so cool. In fact, I have done some research. As a reporter does. Well, and I found out that you have at least 50 different protégés. For the people on the other side of the camera, explain what that means. Sure. Well, a, a protégé is just a fancy word for people who think that what you do is rad and they want to learn from you. That's beyond cool that so many people are wanting to follow your lead. How did that even happen? I've been skating for a long time, and I started hanging out with some other dudes that love to skate too. I was chilling with them, and then I started to notice that they were doing and saying some things that were the opposite of cool. Oh, really? Explain for us what was going down. Yeah, so, so here's an example. I was doing a tray flip down a three stair, right? And when I was done, I noticed some of the guys were over there by the quarter pipe saying some straight up bad words. Oh, that is not good. What'd you do about that scene? It got pretty gnarly. The newer guys started following along. It started with bad words and stuff and eventually got way worse. They were excluding others and messing with different skaters' equipment. Tons of stuff that God wouldn't be cool with. Negative influence all over the place. Sounds like that was not top tier. You're right. And I had a choice to make. I could take my board and bail or I could join in and act like they do. I could either fit in or I could take a stand for what was right. It can be so hard to stand up and do the right thing. I've actually been reporting about the armor of God lately, and Carter, this whole sitch sounds like a perfect opportunity to put on the armor of godliness. That's the piece that protects our hearts from wanting to do the wrong thing while helping us have the power to do the right thing. I'm sure everyone is dying to know, what did you end up doing? It was hard to take a stand against those guys. I mean, they were pretty cool, and I wanted them to like me, and I wanted them to skate with me. But I remembered that the devil uses other people that can be bad influences to turn our hearts away from God. Because I wanted to do what God says is right, I put on the armor of godliness and took a stand against the devil. I talked to those dudes, and you know what? It ended up being cooler than a 1080 flip. They realized that what they were doing was wrong, and they changed their ways. So by taking a stand and doing what was right, they saw how they should act out here at the park and now they follow your lead. Awesome! Hey Carter, thanks for hanging with us today and showing us exactly what the armor of godliness looks like in action. Totally. Well, that's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. 